Welcome to today's video and today I will be reviewing the Lay Norton's fat workout routine. So the way that I'm making these videos is taking a particular program, dissecting it, how many workouts per week, how's the duration, how's the progression, what kind of results can you expect and most of all I'm interested in the bench press progression and I have a practical series, I will link a card above, it is titled training for 15 bench and my end goal will be to achieve a 315 bench, of course. And if you happen to stumble upon this video by accident, make sure to click that red subscribe button. I would appreciate it a lot. And now I will start to record my screen and make this review happen. So here's the Lane Norton fat workout routine and the spreadsheet. I will link the description box below the website where I did found it. And there you can also download the spreadsheet. It's on liftvault.com. So basically it's a program for intermediates. It's a linear periodization, uses RPE and uses percentage of your one rep max. And in the past I did see this term pretty often, fat, P-H-A-T. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right in English. And anyways, it will be interesting to see what these letters are standing for. So let's scroll down and see. So basically the FAT and it stands for Power Hypertrophy Adaptive Training. So this workout routine is a five day power building program for athletes seeking strength and hypertrophy development. So power building is when you incorporate training for power, so strength and also hypertrophy muscle building in one week. We have a combination of both. And this program was developed by Dr. Lee Norton. And like I mentioned, it blends power and hypertrophy work. And it's ideal for bodybuilders who look to gain size, want to be aesthetic, but also want to be strong. So that's the program right here. Each fat training session will be centered around a major compound movement. So we have here the big movements, the squat, the bench, the deadlift, the dumbbell press. Or I think you could do also the OHP with the barbell. And a training week has five sessions, two power sessions and three hypertrophy sessions. And this is how the schedule will look like. So day one could be Monday. We will have an upper body power day, then we have a lower body power day, then we take a rest and then we have the three hypertrophy days. So first one would be back and shoulders, then we have a lower day and chest and arms. So it's more or less like an upper lower split, but this is a three day variation where it is not split like here upper lower but you have here a split between back and shoulders and chest and arms regarding the upper body and day number seven will be a rest and for the power training days so for these days right here we will do three sets between three to five repetitions so in the lower range and the weight is up to the lifter but it's 70 to 80 percent of a one rep max so that's a good starting point and the hypertrophy days will repeat the primary movements of the power day and the main difference will be that the weight will be lower and also don't train to failure stop one to two reps short of failure and lane recommends deloading every six to twelve weeks and the deal should last one to three weeks, but we should still train at 60 and 70% of our normal weights. Anyways, you can click here on the link to download the Excel spreadsheet. And we have here some frequently asked questions. So what is FAT? So I have already mentioned power hypertrophy adaptive training, five training sessions, and the program should last a total of 12 weeks, compromised of four three week cycles. So four times three equals 12. And we have two weeks training, one week deload, okay. And basically frequent deloads are due to high volume and intensity. And who should run this program? 
So anyone who is looking to build strength and muscle mass is welcome to try it, but do it to the high volume, high intensity and wide array of exercises. It's hard to recommend it for beginners. And beginners would make a faster progress on a linear progression based program. So if you are a beginner, not the greatest idea to try this program. So uh, upper level novice or intermediate is the person that should consider trying this program. So let's click on this link right here and open the Excel spreadsheet. So this is how it's looking like. There's a lot of information written here, but basically I will try to cover it as much as possible. So here is the inputs sheet and we can enter here our maxes pounds or kilograms if we will use kilograms then we must enter here two and a half and if we will use pounds then enter five i will use kilograms so two and a half and for argument's sake i will leave here just 100 so we will see how the progression is structured in terms of percentage so the bench would be 100 kgs 100 percent and it will be easier to track the progression. So here are the days. So we have here the upper and lower power days. And then we have the three days for hypertrophy. So five workouts a week. And let's now look over each workout. So the upper body power day. It starts with the main compound movement, which is the bench. And three sets of three to five, and we will start with 70% of our one rep max. So that will be 70 kgs. And we should try to complete the five repetitions. So three sets of this and moving forward, we have some weighted pull-ups. So a compound movement for the back and two sets between six to 10 reps. So here we don't have any calculations. So we must pick a weight based off our experience with which we could perform six to 10 repetitions. Then we have a horizontal row. So this could be a bent over barbell row or I think a dumbbell row would also be acceptable, T-bar row. So whatever feels best to you. And then we have weighted dips. So another compound movement, then we have pendley rows and here we have to fill in with which weight we did perform the pendley rows. So it will calculate on this day right here on our hypertrophy day the weight. So it's less than we have done here. And after that we have some assistance movements so the dumbbell shoulder press then we have some curls for the biceps and skull crushers for the triceps so basically the whole upper body is covered here we have some compound movements and then some isolation movement at the end so overall looks very decent the sets are not way too high reps are under 10 so looks pretty decent so far. Now let's move on to the lower body day. It starts with squats. So that's the main calma movement while training legs. And we will perform 70% for one rep max. Once again, three sets of three to five. And then we have assistance movements for pressing, extension, pulling and curling. So hack squats, leg extensions, stiff leg deft lifts, leg curls and finishing off with some calves. So that's the leg day in a nutshell. Also looks very decent. And now moving on to the hypertrophy days. So here's the back and shoulders hypertrophy days. We'll start off with the pendley row. And here we have calculated the weight. It was less than the power day. So here it is written speed pulling. So that's why the weight is a little bit lighter and we should focus on speed. So pulling as fast as possible, but maintaining still decent form. After that, we have some work now for hypertrophy. So for muscle building and the reps here are higher than it was on the power days. 
here it was 3 to 5 and up till 10 the maximum so here is from 8 to 12 also to 12 to 15 and 12 to 20 so we have exercises like the horizontal row so i think we can do the lumbar row or the barbell bent over row then we have the seated cable row ah uh, here we have the dumbbell row so maybe we should here do this with the barbell close grip pull downs dumbbell shoulder press upright rows dumbbell side lateral raises so a lot of exercises and focused on hypertrophy here's for the back the pulling and here's for the shoulders now let's move on to the lower body hypertrophy day so we will start off with squats and it's also speed pressing so the weight is only 65 percent of of our power day only 45 kg so we should work here on our speed and then for hypertrophy we have hack squats leg press leg extensions then we have romanian deadlifts lying leg curls seated leg curls and some calf raises so once again very extensive for the legs everything is covered and high reps for hypertrophy and the sets are still under control and the last day is for the chest and arms the hypertrophy so we will start off with the dumbbell press and use a weight where you can hit explosively with, with two to three reps in the tank so two to three reps until failure for our hypertrophy work so incline dumbbell press incline chest press incline cable flies preacher curls concentration curls spider curls first time i'm hearing this then for the triceps some extensions press downs kickbacks so yeah chest and arms quite a lot we have here for the chest and then in very detail for the arms a lot of movements so yeah this program is very stacked with a wide variation of exercise for sure so that's why it's not suited for beginners now this was an overview of the week in general so it will be a long week with five workouts many exercises and it will take a time to get used to it and you don't have to add anything here additionally basically everything is covered the only thing that i didn't see i think was some work for the rear delts so yeah only for the side delts upright rows shoulder press so maybe you could add in some rear delt work switch out the upright rows but other than that it covers everything and now if we look on a week to week progression so how does it compare to week number two three and four so the exercise selection will stay the same so we will always do here the same exercises and the only thing that is changing is the percentages of our one rep max so week number one we did start at 70 percent here and week number two we are increasing by two and a half percent then on week number three we are increasing once again by two and a half percent and on week number four we are increasing by two and a half percent so that would mean if we are looking at the bench week number one we start off with benching with 70 kgs after that with 72 and a half then with 77 and a half so here is a five increase i did make a mistake and here by two and a half percent okay so that's for the main compound movements that's the weekly increases from two and a half to five percent and regarding the other movements there are no changes here in the sets and reps so basically i think we should approach it like follows let's say for the dumbbell shoulder press we did here three sets of a given weight with only seven repetitions so for the next week we should aim to do once again three sets with the same reps but this time trying to do eight repetitions so adding one additional rep and when we are getting to 10 reps so we are performing for example the curls for three sets and 10 reps with the given weight 
then for the next week we will increase the weight so that's why we will not be able to do 10 reps but we will start somewhere from 6 to 7 reps and then we want to build ourselves up to 10 reps and only then increasing the weight and now let's return here to the text in the website one thing that i found interesting was here in the spreadsheet it was written only the plan for four weeks and i have a question regarding now the deloads how we should structure so lane recommends deloading every six to twelve weeks so we could either do it like this so we could add here a couple additional weeks in the bottom and i think on a week-to-week -week basis we should increase our percentage by only two and a half not more and let's say after we are feeling quite fatigued we don't see major improvements in our assistance work in our hypertrophy days then we could take a deal out when we are between week 6 and week 12 so that would be a good plan i think when we see the progress has stopped we are stalling then it's time to take a deal out and maybe then calculate our maxes once again putting them in and then resuming the program once again so this was the lane norton's fat workout program review and i hope you have enjoyed watching this video and i will see you soon next time bye